Hey, my family, it's your girl, Tina. Welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. Can somebody tell him thank you? All right, I've been getting a lot of questions um, about the powder puff inks that I have been using in some of my makes. So I'm here to hopefully give an understanding or to share about the powder puff inks. All right. Um, powder puff inks are created by a company called Quick Quotes. Quick Quotes is a company that specializes or um, basically is geared to scrapbooking. And what they do is they create layouts and they put everything in the kit that you need for a double page layout. All right. They host or they used to host like weekend vineyards where you would go, you would pay one price. It would include your meals for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all meals, all supplies that you need to do every activity or um, creation page layout or whatever you want to call it. All of that would be included in this one price. I have went to several of their weekend um, vineyards and I had a blast because those that have been rocking with me for a long time, you all know that I was first a scrapbooker and scrapbooking is my first, my first love when it comes to paper crafting, right? So when I would go, you would leave at the end of this weekend with a whole completed album like 12 pages, double-sided, completed with all of these layouts where all you had to do is stick your picture there and do your journaling if you wanted to do journaling. This is what the company is all about. So they have a supply of what you call chalking inks. This is one of their um, containers that holds the inks. It's 12 that come in a set. And you will get these in your kit when you would pay for that weekend. They have also been at um, Scrapbook Expo. They have a booth for Scrapbook Expo and a lot of time, majority of the time, they always had a project at that make and take booth where you could sit down every 15 minutes or whatever and do an easy make and take. They always had that and then you walked away with a coupon. They used to offer classes also at the uh, Scrapbook Expo. And what I loved about the classes is you pay $25 for the class, you got a whole kit to do a double page layout, and you got a coupon to go and spend down in their booth. Love this company, all right? So it's Powder Puff Chalking Inks. Now, I like this um, better than the Tim Holtz Distress, um, what is it called, Oxides. Because that oxide, from my understanding, is that it's supposed to have like the chalk effect. And it does. When you when I've used it, at the end it gives me that chalky effect, that chalk look. However, I prefer these, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to go in and share with you my stash of these chalking inks come in a varieties of colors the company is still around they have a website and let me see if it's on this box but i do know it's just quickquotes.com it's shop quick quote quotes there we go right there shop right and it's here it is you can see it better here shop and these are powder puff chalking inks so, you know I've been into this because this one is a 2014 set. And this one is, let's see if the year is on this one. Because I've been using quick quotes for quite some time. The year is not on this one, you all. But this is a 13. Okay, so this is the um, set power. 13 and then this is 44 each time they come out with a different set they add a number to it okay so if this is set 13 
And this is set 44, and I got all in between. You can just imagine how many that I have. All right, I'm not going to show all of them. I'm going to just show one bin. So this is what, how I store them in these little um, refrigerator containers, compartments, or whatever. I have three of these. Okay, but I'm just going to share this, this one. I just wanted to give you an idea uh, of the color range. All right, so I have this yellow, which is called Lemonade. Really, really love these inks. We have a coconut, right? Um, let's see. Let me just get a piece of paper. And perhaps I can... Some of them are open and some of them are not. Look at that lemonade. I love it. Let me see if I can get a piece of black paper to put this um up against. You could probably see it a little better. Here, let's just take this stripe. That's the lemonade. I love this this um chalky ink. All right, we have the feathery gray, feather gray, and then of course the midnight confession. That's the black. All right, so these are basically my, what you call these blacks and grays. Uh, we have the pink cheeks. All right, and then we're going to go into our oranges. These are some of the orange that I have. Coral. Orange slice. Red hot. All right, so that goes into the red tones. All right. Let's go over to some greens. These are some of the greens that I have. And I hope you all can see them. Right? So this is a soft sage. Never been open. And they come very, very juicy. Green with ivy. When you first open them, use them lightly. Because, whoa, the chalk really comes off khaki. Green tea. And once you, as you use them, and the chalk, you know, is being used, it really, really gives you that soft, soft, chalky, chalky uh, feel. So I like it once I have taken out, like, the juice, juice, the overflow is what I call and once it gets to that right, right amount of ink, oh boy, I love the inking. Uh, Caribbean blue. So now we're into our blues, never been used. Okay. Lagoon blue, this is their most popular blue. They do a lot of layouts with this lagoon blue. Okay. Tahiti is very popular. All right. And then... A more truer blue is this blue Hawaiian. This is very popular in their line. All right. Then we have blue moon. It's a darker blue, like a navy blue. Never been open. And then the blue jean. Okay. Never been open. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to go over to the browns. Now, there's a lot, lot of browns in their collection. A lot of browns, a lot of earth tones, and a lot of different varieties of hues of black brown. So, this is um, Mocha Mama. Okay, let's see. We can... Let me just show you this Mocha Mama. And you see, I didn't use Mocha Mama, honey, but I love it at this at this stage. That's the Mocha Mama, a beautiful brown. Okay, I have like four or five of these Mocha Mamas. I, I use the Mocha Mama, let me see, a lot. Amaretto. Okay, let's, let's uh, get a piece of this scrap paper over here. We're going to show you the browns. Now, I didn't use Amaretto so much. But I love this stage. I have three more of these, and they have different amounts of ink in them. 
So this is the one that has the least amount, and I love it. I love it. You see it? Beautiful. Okay, so that's Amaretto. Then we have Creamy Cocoa. It's more of a lighter brown. Got kind of like a greenish, a hint of green, a hint of gold. Okay, and again, this is Creamy Cocoa. Rusty Nail. This does not put me in the mind of a rusty nail. It has a green, yellowish, um, gold tone to it, but that's the title of it. Now I'm going to show you how it looks. See, it has a yellow hue to it. Okay, so this is the Rusty Nail Biscotta. Never used that one. All right, and here goes some more browns, the deeper and reddish-like browns. Okay, we're going to start with, uh, I did Mocha Mama already. See, this is what I'm saying. I got a lot of Mocha Mamas. Bloody Mary. Okay, let me show you Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary is more of a red raspberry. Love that. Okay. So again, this is Bloody Mary. Got several Bloody Marys with different volumes of ink in it. And this is a raspberry. Now we know a raspberry is like on the reddish purplish line. Okay. Let me just tear this, you all, so we can get a, a fresh little line. Okay, here we go. Love it. This is the raspberry. Raspberry. Beautiful. All right. So that's more on the purplish reddish. All right. And then let me share another part of my browns with them. So they got a lot of browns from the yellowish hues browns, greenish browns, true browns. And then they go into an orange brown and like a reddish um, burgundy type brown. So that uh, raspberry is reddish burgundy. Uh, Moscato cherry is another one. I've never opened this one. Uh, mango mata. I never opened that one. And then we have, oh, I got two mango. So let's try this one. This one is open. This is more on the orange spectrum, right? The orange brown spectrum. See the orange in there? It's a very pretty color. I love their uh, chalking inks. Beautiful, beautiful inks. All right. And then y'all know Tina always have what? <laughs> purple. So, yes. Now, their purple selection is not uh, as big as the variety of the others, like the browns and the blues. But they do have some purple, which makes me happy. So we have the very berry. Okay, in purple. We have the plum crazy. In purple. We have the purple passion. That's a true, true dark purple. And then we have the brandy wine, which I never opened. All right, so let's just test these out. And then... We're done, you all. I just want to come in and share. Now, this is Plum Crazy. See how light it is? But it gives you that perfect inking effect. Okay, that's the light purple. I mean, Plum Crazy. I'm sorry. It's very light. Let's go with the Very Berry. And I didn't use this so till it's down to the end right but it gives me that look at there so it's darker than the first one i love it okay again that's very berry and then we're going to go with the purple passion yeah 
Yeah, that's the purple patch. So we got three different shades. The lightest, medium, and the darkest. Okay. And again, that one, the last one, was the purple passion. All right. Now, I have not opened up the brandy wine. It's more of a burgundy, dark, dark deep purple. All right. So this is um, part of my collection of my powder puff inks by Quick Quotes. If you are interested, you can go over to shopquickquotes.com. And um, you could pick up, use some of these inks. Now, they come in sets, but they do have some of them that are individual. You could buy only one or two, you know, at a time if you want to just try it. I love, this is an alternative to um, using a chalky ink besides the oxide. With these, they do not react with water. Okay, they do not react with water. You put them on there, and then that's just it. It's there. With the oxide inks, you know that it reacts with water, and then it changes its state and all of that stuff. Not knocking Tim. Love Tim. Love his products. But for me, I like the original Distress inks over the oxide inks. I have been gifted over 12 of those oxide inks and I've tried them and tried. I just don't like the way it don't give me the happy that I look for when I use a product. When I use that distress ink, oh my goodness, I love Tim distress inks and I love his original two sets of distress inks. I do buy the other new sets, you know, as we go, but I really like the very first original two sets of his distress inks and that's more or less what I use all the time all right so this is just an alternative easy storage i put some in this little bin and like i said i have three bins on my shelf and it's just easy storage you all these are really really nice inks they last a long time i've had these oh my gosh some of these i've had over 10 years and i'm still using and remember what i said the older it get, the less ink it has in it, the better Tina likes it, to be honest with you. They are, they come very, very juicy with a lot of the chalky ink in them. And so, I mean, they're ready to go right when you open up the package. So, for those who had questions, I hope I answered your questions. If there are any more, you can leave them in the description or send me an email or Instagram message like you all did before, and I'll try to answer them. All right. As always, you all stay blessed, keep creating, and your girl will see you in the next video. Have a great day.